Good afternoon, everybody. Tyler Rowland coming to you here from Blue Ridge High School. And called, I think, my last game of the day, but it sure was a good one as Springdale Prep had the opportunity to see these guys defeat a very good Hargrave Military Academy team, 83-40. to 40. With me here is Langston Bailey and Caden Fawson, both who... Who, both who scored double digits in this game. I know at one point, especially in the first half, you guys had 11 and 10. And Langston, first off, talk about talk about the importance of control from the point guard position. I really liked how you brought you knew when to slow it down, you knew when to speed it up. Talk about what's led you to be a good good facilitator of the offense. Um, it took a lot of hard work. Uh, my coaches they worked with me because before I liked to dribble a lot because I, I could dribble the ball well, but uh, as I grew, as I matured, I just want to get all my teammates involved before I go off because I know that can happen at any time. So I just let the game come to me, and I try to be the best player for my teammates. Caden, um, Caden, for you, um, how how did it feel to get to come in against Hargrave Military Academy? You had a couple threes, really got going in the first half. What's your mentality when approaching the, the game? Uh, just always be a dog. My coach has always told me to be a dog since I was in middle school. You know, I grew a lot since I was in middle school with Springdale Prep, and my coach has always told me, like, just get better every year. He's seen improvement every year, and just been a dog defensively and offensively. Mm -hmm. and, and Langston, talk about on the defensive end. You had a key steal in the first half that led to an end one opportunity. Talk about what you, you guys do, um, starting with you on the defensive end, um, what your approach is to the game. My coach is, that's what he prides himself on. He prides us, we pride ourselves on defense and offense to come second. I just like being a dog. I like getting after it. And I, I like taking the ball. I like being in control. Same thing with me. Like, our coach preaches defense ever since, like, ever since I came here. It's always been defense, defense, defense for everything. And I, same thing as him. I like to be in control. Like, I'm not going to let you stay in front of me. And, but you, you're not going to get by me, though. I hate to be scored on. I hate it. Yeah, and when you and when you guys get out there and play, um, how did it feel coming into the showcase? You guys did really well, five and one, and only having six guys coming in here and playing some darn good schools and and performing so well. We knew we knew the uh, the show like the platform we were on. We know it's coaches all throughout, it and we want to make sure our parents don't have to pay for college. So that's just our motivation. That's the main thing. I don't want none of my parents to pay for college. I'm trying to get my parents out the way. And our approach to this showcase, I knew to come in here with a lot of intensity because I'm trying to get all my teammates, we're trying to give us looks so we could get to college. All of us, we're in the same situation. We're all trying to get far in life. Yes, and as students, talk about the importance of, which your coach and I briefly talked about this, the, the importance on the academic end. You guys come in and aren't just good basketball players that put a lot of time into this. You probably devote equally, if not more time, in the classroom. Yes, sir. Uh, we're both high achievers in school. Uh, I have a 4.0 GPA. He has a uh, 3.5. Nice. Very so good. We definitely make sure we're straight academically before basketball. That's the main thing. Like even if we have like open gym, if I don't got all my homework done, I'm gonna go back in my room and just do it, get it over with. Because I, the main thing my parents always told me academics before anything, because you never know what can happen. Yes, and and lastly, talk about the the bond that you guys have with your team. I know you got talk about maybe something that you guys like to do, maybe when you're off the court. When we're off the court, it's always fun times. Yeah. We always joking, joning, going at each other. We fight, but it's it's never like malice in between it. Like we all we're like a family. Like it's my brother. Like yeah. these my brothers. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, this is definitely my bro. Like I've known him for a long time now. Like ever since he came into school, I knew he was gonna have a great bond. Like mm -hmm. this is really my guy for real. Like all of these dudes, like I've known him for a while. Even Dion, he just came here. We already we already got chemistry. He just came on the team. Mm -hmm. Wow. And. Any shout-outs you guys would like to give? Uh, shout-out to my family. Uh, shout-out to God. Shout-out to my teammates. Um, and shout-out to anybody who, who's given me a chance to look or look my way this whole weekend. Shout-out to my mom. Shout-out to my dad. Happy Father's Day. Shout-out to my whole family. Shout-out to Allah, everybody. Yes, very well said. Langston Bailey and Caden Fawson, a big win for... 
Springdale Prep, 83 to 40 over Hargrave Military Academy. And you guys are you planning? Are you going to be back here next week? Yes, I know sir. there's an event going on. Okay, so may get a chance. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to call their game next week. It's a lot of fun calling it and. We thank you guys for being on today. We thank you for tuning in. Be sure to stay tuned for more episodes of Rolling Sports where you meet the athletes.